Hi friends today's topic of discussion is from Subject Environmental Studies, Part 1, of Maharashtra State for Standard 4, Chapter 2 The Interrelationships Between Living Things. Exercise Question Number, A, What's the Solution? Gurpreet has to go for a hobby class on a hot summer afternoon. She needs to be told what to do to protect herself from the heat. Let's see the answer. Gurpreet should make a checklist of essentials that she needs for the hobby class on a hot summer afternoon. She should wear cotton clothes. She should pack her backpack with healthy food, fresh juice, water, sunblock, shades, umbrella. The night before the hobby class, she should sleep well. Let's repeat the answer, Gurpreet should make a checklist of essentials that she needs for the hobby class on a hot summer afternoon. She should wear cotton clothes. She should pack her backpack with healthy food, fresh juice, water, sunblock, shades, umbrella. The night before the hobby class, she should sleep well. Let's see the next question. Question number, B, Think and Tell. 1. If water collects in fields due to heavy rains, the crops growing there rot. Why? 2. Why do we not get a good crop if we do not get good rains? 3. Why does the Indian rat snake, Daman, live around fields? 4. If there are furry animals living in snowy regions, would their coats be thick or sparse? Let's see the answers for these questions. Question number B.1 If water collects in fields due to heavy rains, the crops growing there rot. Why? 1. Plant roots require access to air. Usually the soil has three phases, solid, soil particles, liquid, water and other solutions, and gaseous, air. This gaseous phase exists in form of small pores and pockets of air inside soil. In heavy rains, these air pockets are filled with water which expels the air trapped inside them, suffocating the plant roots and it may start to rot. 2. Dampness, moisture, encourages growth of many fungi and bacteria which can also cause rot-like symptoms. 3. Parasite is also responsible for rots when the soil is frequently flooded. Next question. Question number B.2. Why do we not get a good crop if we do not get good rains? If there is no good rain, then we will not get a good crop because of the following reasons. 1. Transpiration, that is, water movement through a plant and its evaporation from leaves. Stems and flowers, is necessary for the growth of the crop and the lack of water affects the activities of the plant and hence affect the growth of the plant. 2. Due to lack of water during the reproduction in plant, reproductive organs are not able to be formed which affects the flower and finally fruit or crop production gets affected. Next question. Question number B.3. Why does the Indian rat snake? Daman, live around fields. India rat snake, Daman, is not poisonous and big in size, 1.5 to 2 meters. Damans eat a variety of prey like bird, mice, rat, etc. In the fields, bird, mice, rat, etc. come in search of food grain. Therefore, the Indian rat snake, Daman, live around the fields so that it can eat bird, mice, rat, etc. Next question. Question number B.4. If there are furry animals living in snowy regions, would their coats be thick or sparse? The coats of many furry animals become thicker if they are in snowy regions. It helps these animals in fighting the extremely cold climate and be warm. 
Such growth of hair is especially noticeable in animals like sheep, and some types of goats and rabbits. Next question is question number, C, find out, 1. Which fruits are the following places in Maharashtra famous for? Nagpur is famous for orange. Golwat is famous for chiku, sapadilla. Saswat is famous for fig. Devjit is famous for Alfonso, mango. Jalga is famous for banana. This question is based on data collection and class activity. I have written few points based on my search. You can have your own points or add more points to the list. Question number, C, find out, 2.A. Why do you think orange trees grow in Nagpur? Oranges require rainfall of about 101 to 114 centimeters annually. A temperature ranging from 12 to 38 degrees Celsius and a soil with pH of 6.0 to 8.0. Based of the data collected from various sources, Nagpur has rainfall of 106 cm annually. A temperature ranging from 13 to 42 degrees Celsius and a soil with pH of 7.4 to 8.4. The requirement for orange trees are met by Nagpur, hence orange trees grow in Nagpur. Next question. C. Find out. 2.B. Why do you think Shiku trees grow in Golvad? Chiku require rainfall of about 125 to 250 cm annually. A temperature ranging from 12 to 36 degrees Celsius and Black soil Based of the data collected from various sources Golwad has rainfall of 180 cm annually. A temperature ranging from 12 to 30 degrees Celsius and Black soil The requirement for Shiku trees are met by Golwad, hence Chiku trees grow in Golwad. Next question C. Find out 2.C. Why do you think fig trees grow in Saswad? Fig require rainfall of about 65 to 75 cm annually. A temperature ranging from 15 to 39 degrees Celsius and A soil with pH of 7.0 to 8.0 Based of the data collected from various sources Saswood has rainfall of 70 cm annually A temperature ranging from 12 to 36 degrees Celsius and A soil with pH of 6.5 to 7.5 the requirement for fig trees are met by Saswood, hence fig trees grow in Saswood. Next question. C. Find out. 2.D. Why do you think Alfonso, mango, trees grow in Devjid? Mango require rainfall of about 85 to 102 cm annually. A temperature ranging from 15 to 40 degrees Celsius and a soil with pH of 5.5 to 7.5. Based of the data collected from various sources. Diagad has rainfall of 90 cm annually. A temperature ranging from 16 to 35 degrees Celsius and. A soil with pH of 6.5 to 7.5. The requirement for Alfonso, mango, trees are met by Devjid. Hence Alfonso, Mango, trees grow in Devjid. Next question. C. Find out. 2.E. Why do you think banana trees grow in Jalga? Banana require rainfall of about 250 to 400 cm annually. A temperature ranging from 14 to 35 degrees Celsius and a soil with pH of 5.5 to 6.5. Based of the data collected from various sources. Jalga has rainfall of 80 cm annually. 
In addition to this, drip irrigation is used to compensate for water shortage. A temperature ranging from 12 to 42 degrees Celsius and a soil with pH of 6.0 to 7.0. The requirement for banana trees are met by Jalga, hence banana trees grow in Jalga. Let's see the next question. Question number, D. Answer the following questions. 1. How are plants useful to us? 2. What is meant by arboreal animals? 3. What changes do we see in trees at the beginning of March? Let's see the answers for these questions. Question number D.1. How are plants useful to us? 1. Plant releases oxygen, through photosynthesis, that we inhale and due to which we are alive. 2. Plants give us food grains, vegetables, and fruits. 3. We love flowers and we use them for many different purposes. We get flowers from plants. 4. We also get cotton wool from plants to make cotton clothes. 5. Goats and sheep are raised for meat, for milk, and for fibers used in textiles. Goats and sheep eat leaves of plants. Next question. Question number D.2. What is meant by arboreal animals? 1. Arboreal, this word comes from the Latin word arbor which means tree. Arboreal means living in trees. 2. Animals like monkeys and squirrels live on trees. Being at a height, they are better able to defend themselves from their enemies. Besides, they can eat the fruits of the trees to satisfy their hunger. Such animals are said to be arboreal. 3. As they move around in the surroundings, they spread the seeds of the fruit they have eaten, through their droppings. Because of this, new trees grow in different places. 4. Some types of birds build their nests on trees. Next question. Question number D.3. What changes do we see in trees at the beginning of March? At the close of the month of February, it becomes warmer and by March, we begin to feel the heat. It's time for summer. The end of winter is the time for the mango trees to start blossoming. These blossoms are called mohair in Marathi. In this season, many trees get new leaves. Forests appear to have taken on a copper color because these leaves are reddish and shiny while they are tender. Their color changes to green as the leaves grow bigger. The call of the koel is heard in many places. Summer is the season for mangoes, watermelons, and cashew nuts. The red-yellow cashew apples can be seen growing on the cashew trees on the hillsides in the Konkan region. Let's see the next question. Question number E fill in the blanks. 1 after dash, winter comes again. Answer is. After rainy season, winter comes again. 2 we keep animals because animals meet some of our dot dash. Answer is. We keep animals because animals meet some of our needs. 3 we spray dot dash. To prevent insects from attacking plants. Answer is. We spray pesticides to prevent insects from attacking plants. For winter is also known as the season of dot dash. Answer is. Winter is also known as the season of pongal, falling of leaves. With that today's topic exercise questions from subject environmental studies, part 1 of Maharashtra State for Standard 4, Chapter 2 The Interrelationships Between Living Things is completed. Please like, comment, share and subscribe thanks for watching. We will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye.